Oh my god. Unbelievable. The risk involved. They're huge. That's why I say um, diamonds make you stupid. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It's a fever. It is. It is. So what's that gun then? A uh, 12 gauge shotgun. Ten past eight in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Brand Carros. That's the name of this place where I am right at the Orange River at the border with Namibia. Well, before I'm going to show you the most random breakfast ever, I have to tell you that this place actually doesn't do food. There's nothing here, which I didn't know when I arrived yesterday. But the man who runs this place, he was so kind to throw me a braai which is how South Africans call a barbecue. So I did have uh, a dinner last night and then he said here, uh, take the leftovers and then you'll have yourself at least a breakfast. So this is for breakfast, potato salad and then, oh, this does not look very appealing, does it? Uh, sausage and chicken and lamb. Actually, after heating it up in the microwave, doesn't taste so bad, actually. <laughs> okay, map time. So I'm now right here, right here at the border with Namibia. But I'm actually not crossing the border into Namibia today. I am circling back as close as I can past the Richtersveld National Park towards Springbok. And I'm doing that because there is an important parcel waiting for me in Springbok which I have to go pick up before I go to Namibia. So that is the plan for today. I'm going to Springbok, pick up my parcel and do some other preparational work before going to uh, Namibia. So it's going to be a long ride. It is about 230 or 240 kilometers and about 190 of that is on dirt. So if the roads are going to be similar as in the last video <laughs> with all these corrugations and sand and loose gravel, then uh, yeah, it's gonna take me a the whole day, a long time. So I'm quickly finish, uh, going to finish up packing and then uh, let's go. Let's turn around here. Now yesterday I learned another very fascinating fact about the place that I just stayed. Because this farm originally was also set up and owned by the Beers. If you remember in the last video, when I talked about the mining company that actually built and privately owned the town of Kleinzee, they also built this farm to actually grow food for all their thousands of workers. So the grapes that you see here, they're new. So they were planted, some were only planted six months ago. Um, where did I go? Um, and others like about two years ago. So the farm, when it was still owned by the beers, it looked very different from the way it looks now. But yeah, I find it so fascinating that a mining company actually starts its own farms to grow food for their employees. Crazy times. This, this whole area, this whole diamond territory, it's such a fascinating place. And the more I talk with the locals about it, uh, the crazy stories and everybody's showing me pictures of diamonds and yeah all of this happens uh, off camera when people are comfortable talking obviously so I can't I can't really share that with you but the stories I've heard wow you can make a documentary about this this whole area and how things went down here in the past and how things are still going on at the moment, you know? People still get concessions to search for diamonds and they still find diamonds all the time. Okay, I just gotta focus on this road now because it is so bumpy here. See, there goes the Orange River. Fantastic. See it really well from here. Oh, <laughs> um, I 
guess this road's closed then. Oh, I saw that really late. I thought it was a shadow or something. Uh, actually, the reason why I took this road is that there is an active... Um, oh, look at all these animal prints. Wonder what animals have been wandering around here. Um, anyway, there is an active diamond mine just 10 k's down this road and I just wanted to drive past it have a look but uh, I guess they don't want me to surely there must be another way in but I just don't know which road so I'll just head back this way for now see where I'll go next I'm not sure Back at the main road. See if there's another way in somewhere. Here, look at this sign. Stop diamond theft. Fluit, fluit, miss that out. Which means whistle, whistle, no crime. The mine is somewhere this way well they've definitely been digging around here oh, I can't enter <laughs> it's already closed off <laughs> hello <laughs> how are you so this already is the start of the mine, or not? This one? Yeah. 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 I cannot enter. Um, Only if uh, you're going inside, maybe you're going to scream over there. But inside the mine, you can't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you have a visit or for what? Just visit. Just visit. Yeah. A house. For a house. Sorry? Are you coming to visit for someone here? Is no, no. Because we're not coming. The camera is not allowed. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't think we... Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. No problem. If we could uh, uh, maybe visit like this. I can ride there. Yeah, you can. Like this. Or you can go around here. Or you can go around here. And then come back this way or I can make a small loop? Yeah, you can make a small loop. Just around. Okay. Yeah, you can come inside. I can come inside? Okay, thanks! <laughs> I can't believe it worked. <laughs> they just let me in. How cool is that? Not sure if I'll see anything interesting, but... Where was I supposed to go up that hill? I don't know. Let me see. Um, where do I go now? This is closed. Go up this hill. Ah, that's probably the hill that we're talking about. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah, it's a bit of a moon landscape with all the diggings around here. That was nice. <laughs> yeah, but there is someone who can help you also. Really? Yeah. Mm. I think so. Let mm -hmm. us no, no, try no, just try to phone him. Okay. Hello? Hello. Hi, uh, my name is Nora Lee. I'm uh, from the Netherlands. I'm traveling on a motorbike. And uh, yeah. I'm actually also a geologist. <laughs> and I was just passing through the area and I thought oh it would be so awesome to have a look at the diamond mine but I have no idea if if it's possible or we are you currently I, I'm at the gate um okay I'll ask the uh I'll tell the guys that to bring him to my place quickly okay cool yeah awesome okay thank you yeah, bye, bye.
Good morning. Then it comes through to the house and you can just have a chat to James. Okay. Yeah. And he can just tell you where what's the safe areas and what's not the yeah. safe areas. Yeah. Cool. You can just follow me. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. All right. I'll see you later, huh? okay. Thanks. Wow, hectic. It's just a, a men's house. <laughs> sure. <laughs> This vehicle has some. Oh, I could sit in front. Oh, yes, yes, awesome. Look at this. Some serious security in this vehicle. Oh, wait. Ah. Right. So that means no seatbelt. Okay. Right, so I'm now in the car with James, John and Dale. What do you use that one then for, that vehicle? Recoveries. Like recoveries of other vehicles? Yes. Okay. So what's that gun then? A uh, 12 gauge shotgun, which we use for ride control, etc. More lethal rounds. And obviously lethal backup in case things get a bit out of hand. Do you carry that on your arm? Yeah. And then that one you carry around your waist, that one or not? Yeah. Oh. Or slung across your chest like the old cowboys used to. Okay. Oh, this is rubber? Yeah. So it's a car control round. Ah, okay. Yeah. But then the other ones are lethal. These are lethal, and this is a variety of non lethal rounds. You get um, the two balls, and then we get one that uh, has um, OC. Oh, you're the capsicum, pepper, pepper powder, basically. Uh-huh. A little bit of tactical, a little bit of tactical coming. Protecting what you said, 36,000 hectares. 46,000 hectares. I can't even grasp how big that is. Thanks. That's a marker? Yes. For the diggers? Yeah. So they know... What they normally do is they mark the areas. Um, you'll see there won't be any cell phone reception or radio signals in this area then. Right, let's have a look at this. This is another of the security vehicles. So these are the shooting holes? Yeah. It's a um, shooting holes. Shooting holes, yeah. How do you open this? Oh, like this? Oh, right, right. Okay. Because of the bullet here. 
this is where they were digging, yeah? yeah. This is all handmade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes down about 100 meters down there. 100 meters? Yeah. This caved in, and on my back also caved in. Now, this is one of the richest areas. But you said one scoop here pays, pays the mine for a month. And then they were just carrying, like, because they didn't put, like, the, you know, the rails. No, no, no. This is all hard labor. Hard labor. That's what it is, hard labor. Carrying out bags. Mm. Well, like... Yeah. Unreal. This side was also... Uh, also digged in. Um, Caved in? Yeah. Yeah. But this was all done, like I said, by hand. Um, and that's the chances they take. Right. Because if you take it, you saw how much gravel is on top of you now. Yeah. The risk involved. They're huge. That's why I say, um, diamonds make you stupid. Yeah. It does. Yeah. It's a fever. It is. It is. Oh my god. Unbelievable. So, are there more tunnels like these in this area? Then? Yeah. So this is one of the, the, the well known. It's right there. Looks like they also there was a tunnel there or not? Yeah. The Orange River. So now they're mining there on the Namibian side. Yes. Yeah. Just gonna have a look at this super awesome tree. This tree is called the half man's tree. Because from the distance it actually can look like there's a person standing there. Look. This one is really cool because it's actually kind of growing half out of the rock here. That is incredible, look at it. Yeah, I read about these trees, so I was really hoping to see one because they, they grow in this area and they, are, they contain a poisonous substance that the Bushmen used to dip their arrows in uh, to make them poisonous if they were hunting. Wow, this is a really, really cool example. And they can grow up to 100 years old, these trees. Awesome. Let's get back in our protected vehicle. What a crazy day. It's not gonna work. What? But not gonna work? The seat belt. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the practice area where they practice shooting. So that was a real one? No. 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 It was just, that was literally just a lot of explosion. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's a flashback. It's a big, it's a, big it's ass cracker. To, to scare. Yeah. Yeah, because of the south. Uh, your magazine sits in the bottom here. So that's where your tube is. These are backup rounds. We oh. normally carry our live ammunition over here. So that we know if we have problems, this is where you go for your default. Oh, okay. So a live round obviously is a bit noisier. It has a bit more kick. gets bigger after this. Yeah. And louder and harder. There's just at the base of it there's a little red object lying there. We were shooting at that yesterday as well. But that's with the longer rifles. Okay. That's with like the, the visor or not? Yeah, with the scope. So. With scope, yeah. All right, we are back. I just wanted to show you this insane vehicle as well. Wait, this is not the best side. They're fixing it at the moment. Look at it. So this is also what they use when there's riots or attacks is insane, look at it similar to the other one look and then here are the holes 
where they can shoot from and they can shoot from the top I guess and then on that side as well one two three four five holes for guns and on this side insane look how tall it is I cannot even reach all right, today turned out to be very different than I imagined. This is where I'll be staying tonight. This is uh, one of the houses. Um, I'm going to sleep in one of these rooms here. Probably this one over there, because it's now 3.30. 3 so no way that I'll make it to uh, Springbok today. So I'll stay the night here. They're gonna throw a bry again tonight. Wow, what an unexpected day. And I didn't get the opportunity to explain to you exactly what was going on um, because I did not see this coming. But so the people that took me out today, they're working for a private security company and they have to protect 46,000 hectares uh, against illegal diggers or illegal diamond diggers. And um, well, as you can see, this is serious business. and. Uh, they have been in fights and gunfights and yeah it is uh, with reason that they use these vehicles that they use these guns and all of that it's crazy it's absolutely crazy and um, a lot of the parts today where we were or what they told me uh, I can't put it in the video um, because yeah because of security reasons but my mind is blown this is such a lawless wild wild west part of South Africa I had no idea and it's just I entered a completely different world and things go differently around here and uh, yeah wow well, it's just all the things that I saw and heard today is just crazy crazy um, so yeah not so much riding today <laughs> but uh, this is what happens when you are open to unexpected things and just kind of knock on a mine's door which is kind of what i did i still actually can't believe that i had the idea to just rock up to this mine and be like hey can i come in <laughs> anyway um i really hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then we will see what will happen in the next video